Welcome to your tutorial on how to apply the Honey Bee Mixer decal kit. Uh, what you'll need is some masking tape or painter's tape, a handheld spatula or a credit card, a pair of scissors, and then I've also brought up the display image on our website in Good Company LTD just as a reference to see uh, where things go. Uh, you can place these anywhere you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and place them how the display picture shows. And when you get your decal, you'll get a couple of sheets with all your decals on it. And I've gone ahead and pre-cut everything, and I've cut everything really close to the decal. Make sure not to touch the decal uh, with your scissors or cut it. And I've put masking tape on every piece. Um, what's highly recommended before you start applying is to put these all over your mixer so you know how, you're, how they're going to lay. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the hive, place that here, and a cluster of bees, and place that in right there. You don't have to press hard, just kind of put it where you want. Now, the honey wand is going to come like this, with the drip coming down, and that's in case you want to put that on the back of your mixer. Um, what I'm going to do is cut that drip off since I'm going to be placing the wand here. And you don't have to cut the drip off and, and reposition it, but I'm just going to, and I'm going to have the drip going down. So you also have a cluster of bees that you can just place anywhere, so I'm just going to kind of put them around the ends here. And you can look at it and replace them if it doesn't look right to you. And that's the importance of placing these before you actually apply them. And we'll put one little one back here. Okay, now you're going to want to cut pleats in the beehive. And the reason is because of the high contour of this area in the mixer. If you see when you are pressing here and you press here, it's not going to go around. So you're going to want to cut pleats. And I've already done that. To this one so you can see I put pleats um, in between the bees on the outside and then on every uh, edge of the hive. So that's going to make it easier when you press this down as you can see these will press around the corners so you won't have any air bubbles or anything. So let's go ahead and start applying the decals. So since I know exactly where all these are going to go just take those off and let's start with the beehive. So I've cut the pleats in here and what you're going to want to do is place it on the flat surface with the grid side up and then peel the backing away from the transfer tape. As, big, as much of a 180 degree angle as you can right against itself. And if you see if any of the pieces are not coming off onto the transfer paper, just roll it back, press really, really hard, and then go back again until it does stick to the transfer paper. Okay, so now there's our hive. I'm just going to put a cluster of bees back up here so I know that I'm not putting the hive too high or too low. Okay, so I'm just going to start at the bottom and press from the middle out. I'm just pressing from the middle out and then your pleated areas should go around the corners pretty easily. Okay, and then using your credit card or your handheld spatula, you just want to rub this really, really hard make sure that that decal is sticking. Okay. 
and then you can slowly peel this again at 180 degrees right against itself and it'll probably tear a little bit but you can just take little pieces off at a time Okay, now that's applied. So let's go ahead and just apply all the other stuff. This is a cluster of bees. And if you find that you need to cut pleats in these as you go along, you can also you can do that as well. What you would do is just as you're applying, if it's not bending around a corner, just grab your scissors and put a little cut in it like that. But we don't need to really do that with that, but that's how you would do that. Next I'm going to do the honey wand. And I'm just eyeballing this. If you want to use the hinge method described in the instruction sheet that you got, you can do that. I am going to use the hinge method on this, the, um, the recipe, so you can see how that's done. But I'm just kind of eyeballing it to where I want it to go. little contour there but it doesn't need pleats and the honey drip Okay, and now for the B with B line, we're going to place that right here. And I'll go ahead and I'll do this hinge method here just so you can see how that works. You want to use the whole length of the decal. You want to put a piece of masking tape the whole length of the decal. And you're going to want to really get this on there very, very good. Run onto the mixer, and then also make sure that it's sticking to your decal very well. Okay, so with the hinge method, you just hinge it back up like this, make a little crease with your fingers, and then start peeling back. Get that backing off. All right. And just slowly peel this away. Now 
Now you have a hinge here. You can lay it down and starting from the middle out. Okay, now on to the recipe that goes on the top of your mixer. What I'm going to do is just line this up so that you probably have a screw here on your mixer. Kind of line it up with the beginning of the end in honey. That's about where the middle is. And bring it all the way to the edge. And then come down. And we're going to do the hinge method again. And that's totally fine to place the masking tape over an already existing decal that's been applied so it won't pull that off. And again we're going to make sure that the masking tape is adhering well to the actual decal as well as the mixer. Okay, now create your hinge. Let's peel this back slowly. You might want to keep your fingers on that uh, masking tape so that it doesn't peel away from the mixer. Okay, now go back from the middle.
And I'm not going to show you the other side because it's exactly the same. So you just repeat on the other side. And then you can apply your extra bees. Just kind of randomly. That one there. And there. Come around here. When And I'll just put this little guy on the back. You can just continue to apply these, or you don't have to. You can put them somewhere else in your kitchen on another smooth surface. It's all up to you. Okay, move this mess aside. And let me put this under the light so you can kind of see it better. And this is what your mixer will look like when you're all done. Now these decals will last for many, many years, but they can be easily removed at any time and they won't leave any residue on your mixer. Thanks for watching.